same face that this world has forgotten. Ooh, what is up, guys? And of course, welcome back to another, of course, Pokemon Upload Wi Fi Battle, which is really, of course, Desk And yes, for going on here, and I, of course, need to explain myself. I haven't uploaded anything proper outside of, of course, who is really better for over a week now, and I'm really sore about that. We're actually at the moment are moving away, and it has taken some time here to look for apartments, stuff like that. And Pokemon has been a second priority, sadly. Not Pokemon Spell themselves. I actually have a lot of battles to upload, but the upload takes a lot of time for me, and I haven't necessarily had that time. Now, with that said, I'm bringing, of course, a UU team here, which I really was looking forward to using here with Primarina, the ZUI, Absol, the Megaform, Cobillion, Nidoking, King, and Nasal. Ace of, of course, a more um, a nasty plot set and very, very specific. Uh, pretty much a mixed bag, definitely not how it should be used. Though with that said, I'm gonna use it like that. We're going up against Hydreigon, Nidoking, Primarina, hey, Haolucha, Darmanitan, and Foretress. So from the get-go here, Foretress makes sense. I should say also Bliss here is also a YouTuber. His channel is gonna be linked down below. Make sure to check him out. He uploaded this battle for two weeks ago. Kinda, kinda, kinda feel that I should have done the same. Uh, anyway, his lead definitely feels like Fortress. Um, major issue here are both uh, Hydreigon and Primarina. I would say Hydreigon is the biggest threat to have offensive momentum to actually tackle it, but Primarina can be kind of tough. And of course, Halucha. Halucha is a thing. Halucha is definitely the thing I fear the most. Anyway, with all this said, let's of course go into the match. So, sadly, I should say from the get go, he's gonna like lead off with his Hydreigon. That's right, we love with Primarina, I mean the initial fall here was to actually kind of scout and do damage. So he's going for U-turn here, I actually decided to go for actually um, Hydro Pump. Mainly here because it's very, very likely he would not stay in and Fortress is such a safe switch in. So that exactly what happens, he brings in his Fortress and of course this is where our Specs. Primarina, we're gonna bring it down, we're gonna bring it way down. But there is a thing, so you know, we're clearly not gonna kill it. Uh, but that's right, I mean, we do our speed next turn, and you know, sensibly because I'm very, very, very speedy, I'm actually fully speed and actually modest, but we do miss the Hydro Pump here, which is unfortunate, but it's not the end of the world, mainly because, you know, I am not necessarily with this team that weak to, of course, the lies of Stealth Rock. So it's it's unfortunate, but it's not game breaking here, as I'm gonna cycle over yet again for another Hydro Pump and do connect this time, so bye bye, Fretress. So it clearly did its job, it clearly did its job, so it is where it is, as it brings in areas here, I was feeling, you know, it could more very likely be a scarf set here too, I can definitely take a sludge wave, and uh, while it just go for sludge wave, I actually die, and that's just because it is a life or variant, I'm being dumb, and I, I lose him too early, now, I'm gonna bring Sreko here, I'm just gonna threaten him out basically, I'm gonna actually send him my Chameleon, so I'm gonna pull a double switch here, predicting the Hydreigon to come in, it's a very, very good switch in towards Aesol, and that is exactly what happens, plus we do kind of find out here that since I outspeed first that it's definitely life or but not Scarf. So here comes Hydreigon, and uh, I'm gonna cycle over Stealth right here, really get him to switch out. I should probably go for Ironhead though, because the Haolucha comes in, and that's a threat, that's THE threat. And the only thing I really can do and probably should do is switch out my decidue. I hope and he goes for a high jump kick, hoping that whatever happens that you know actually transpire and get away with something. But uh, yeah, it's the bird against the bird that is no bird. And he goes like for swords that this is this is definitely bad. And uh, he hasn't getting his own bird and of course activated. I'm gonna do my very best to try to avoid that, but he's gonna show me substitutes. Which is really, really bad because that means he naturally can, of course, get the um, what do you call it, the unburden um, boost onto him after two substitutes. I'm just gonna go directly for the uh, sinister arrow raid. Uh, I really just wanted to do as much damage as possible in case of survived acrobatics. I, I'm clearly I'm not, uh, but due to the sub, he's gonna well, we're gonna break the subs. That's that's great and all. And we get some cool animation. I mean, we do it for the animation, right? That's that's why we do it. As we're gonna break the sub, hey, <laughs> and uh, he's just gonna go acrobatics, and it's gonna actually KO. Uh, I wasn't sure it was gonna do that, but it definitely are. But uh, due to that, we have a big perk, and that is that uh, I can bring in my own Needle King, the King of Kings, and go for a safe, safe, safe Sludge Wave. That's he's gonna KO, and since we are Scarf, we go in to be able to outspeed it too, since we haven't activated Umberton. But he's actually gonna send his third Manitan. 
And I felt that, you know, it's that's alright. I mean, that, it's clearly not going to survive this whatsoever. Because I'm an Ido King, as the Sheer Force is just screaming pain. As he's going to bring in his own. And I felt that Earth Power is probably his only safe move. Zero Dollar Ice Beam. And a is not doing anything for me anyways. I'm just going to switch that out. And bring my Sirico. And he goes for Earth Power. Which is really, 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 really good. Uh, it gives him an opportunity to go for a Psy Shock. And I know... That he could very well switch in inside Dragon Ball. We decided to go for Zyshop because I wanted the damage shot, but in case he fought, he could stay in and survive it. That is not what's happening. So I'm just gonna do a blind play here because I don't have a switch into Kabelia or to Hydreigon. So I'm just gonna go for Thunderbolt, hoping that he would switch in his Primarina as he goes for a U turn, which was what I was hoping for, uh, trying to get some momentum. But he brings Hermes to Holucha, but that's probably just as good. Because that means we're going to KO him without him getting down Burden Boost. We're going to just pop the Lucha. And um, yeah, I think he still did this job just fine here. As uh, he's going to yet again, of course, bring his uh, Hydreigon. As stated, we already know it's scoffed since um, I don't have speed. It Aesil is naturally speedier irregularly. So I have to let it go, basically, as I go for a U-turn. I felt that that was quite alright. I was juggling back and forth if it was worth it. But I kind of feel that it is as um, he's gonna send him his uh, Siren and I'm gonna bring my Kubelion. All I'm going for here is I'm uh, hoping, first of all, that he's not Scarf, of course, but also uh, I really, really want to go for that flinch on Iron Head. I can definitely KO it with two uh, Iron Heads. So that was my initial thought, at least. It was probably my best play I had at this point, but I don't get him paralyzed. What's even worse is that he will be able to KO me because he has fixed himself. And we'll lose Kabelion here, and Hydreigon got a lot tougher for me with deal with. The only perk I have here is that I can go for a knockoff here. It's a guaranteed KO. I actually do for a specs version, uh, Mega Absol actually does around 60%. So I felt really safe going for this. As um, basically from this point on, uh, it's all gonna matter whether or not I can deal with uh, the Hydreigon at all. And um, I simply have no idea whether, whether or not I can. So anyway, he's gonna actually send in his Arius. I do decide to go for a Sucker Punch here, kind of a choke. Knockoff would most certainly KO, as um, and probably would have been decisive here. And I'm saying that because he will survive, of course, the Sucker Punch, which of course is 30% weaker than a knockoff. And I'm gonna lose my Mega Absols. My last Pokemon is, of course, my Nidalehawk, my own, own Mighty Nidal King. I'm just going to lock myself into Ice Beam. Ice Beam is definitely going to KO the Hydreigon. It is whether or not I can survive a Draco from Hydreigon. Or, of course, luckily, if it has Dragon Balls, which I definitely can take. But Draco is a guaranteed KO. There is no way in hell I can take that. So I'm just going to hope that he misses. As, uh, well, plot twist. Um, he is not. <laughs> and we're going to lose here. 1 0. But I was really glad about this battle, and of course to Bliss, thank you so much, make sure to check out him, of course, he's gonna link down below. And Bliss, thank you so much for this battle, this one was definitely a blast. And when it comes to Wi-Fi battles, you know, even if I win or lose, it doesn't necessarily matter, as long as we can showcase up each other's team. And I definitely think I play a smart game here. Uh, I have a few hiccups, the one definitely losing Prima Arena is definitely one of those. Uh, losing it way, way too early, I can definitely switch it in something else versus his uh, Night of King, so that was, that was a choke. But at the same time, I probably should have gone for Nago from Mega Absol and forcing him to go for Draco versus... Or forcing him to actually lock himself into actually Dark Pulse thinking about it and trying to KO my Absol like that. So, a bit of a joke, but at the same time, you know, I had a blast here and I definitely, for what it's worth, it was an entertaining battle. And that's, in the, all, in, in the grand scheme of things, that's what I want. I don't necessarily care about anything else. Uh, so hope you guys enjoyed this battle, and of course, if you link, um, if you like this battle, make sure to check out also Bliss channel. He's the first time I'm saying that. Check him out. <laughs> or anyway, <laughs> thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you of course in the next video. Until then, take care.